As a new mother of two, Kylie Jenner needs all the help she can get. But even with so many family members ready to help out, this business mogul needs some professional childcare on hand too. We have to wonder, do Kylie's fans know the real truth about her nannies? Rise and shine. How many nannies Kylie has? While some of us may have trouble keeping up with these busy celeb moms, their nannies are up for the challenge. After Kylie Jenner's first baby was born, she brought in some backup. Four backups, to be exact. When Stormy Webster was born in 2018, the Kylie Cosmetics creator wasn't sure she wanted to have nannies in the house at all. The star planned on only having her mom, Kris Jenner, helping with the baby. She was worried about too many new people being around the house. Mama, mama. But Kylie soon realized that she'd need the extra hands and hired four nannies to help her take care of her brand new bundle of joy. Since Kylie is usually busy running her many businesses and Travis Scott is often traveling and working on his music career, it makes sense that these parents need some help with the kids. Daddy sing? Oh, you want daddy singing? Daddy. I'm not good enough? Kylie hired the four nannies to work in alternating shifts so that Stormy would have someone around at all times. What? Thank you! Those movements? Rules for the nanny. But becoming part of the Kardashian inner circle is just about as hard as you'd expect. Along with a standard non-disclosure and confidentiality agreement, Kylie and her sister's nannies have to undergo an extensive background check to make sure they're up to the Car Jenner standards of, you know, morals and ethics. Kylie also had her nannies for Stormy and baby Wolf Webster audition for the family to make sure everyone gets along and approves of her childcare choices. But it's not just a clean criminal record that Kylie's looking for. The star also ensures that her nannies can keep up with the family's travel, activities, fame, and fashion. That's right, it's not enough to be level-headed and good with kids. These nannies also have to have a great sense of style. In addition, Kylie's hired help has to follow the general Car Jenner nanny rules, which include things like not wearing jewelry while on the job and being available for last minute trips and events. Sometimes that means coming along to watch the kids while Kylie and her siblings or team work. And sometimes it means staying home with Stormy and the new baby while Kylie takes much needed trips with friends or her sisters. This busy mom needs some days off from time to time too. The nannies also follow strict rules that prohibit them from taking photos of the kids. Kylie even makes sure that the nannies and everyone else check their phones at the door to ensure no unwanted pictures of herself or the kids are leaked to the press. For the first few weeks of Stormy's life, Kylie wasn't planning on sharing any photos of her daughter. Instead, she was sharing some sweet tweets about the baby for fans. One of her first messages replied to a fan's question about how Stormy was doing, read, She's good. Still staring at her all day. She looks just like me when I was a baby. Of course, she soon caved and shared plenty of adorable Stormy pics. What happened? You can come. Even with so many hoops to jump through, Kylie makes the job worth it with a decent paycheck for her nannies. After her Kylie Cosmetics, skincare, swimwear, and baby lines hit it big in sales, Kylie became a billionaire before hitting 24 years old and earned her way into owning one of the top selling cosmetic lines in the world. So I'm launching with a new collection really soon. That said, we can't know for certain how much the Jenner household's nannies get paid, but we'd hope it's a good balance against all that extra stress that comes with taking care of famous kids. Even after Stormy got a bit older, Kylie maintained a high level of security for her home. The nannies and everyone else working in the mansion were required to go through gated security every time they enter. Even Kylie has to buzz in when she gets home from a busy day at the office. The star shared a funny incident via Snapchat about her guards not recognizing her voice through the intercom. She said, So I just pulled up to my gate and I was like, you know, the normal routine. The star spoke into her intercom saying, Hey, it's Kylie Jenner. But the security guard answered, You're with Kylie Jenner? To which the makeup mogul responded, No, it's THE Kylie Jenner. Oops, at least she knows her security is tight. Of course, even the nannies of the busy Kylie Jenner get some vacation days. Kylie admitted in her interview with Harper's Bazaar that sometimes she likes to send the nannies home and spend quality one-on-one -on -one time with Stormy, while also getting a break from her business. She said, Sometimes I take some time off, let the nannies take days off, and hang out at home with Stormy. Kylie added that during those chill days, she likes to lay in bed with a movie and forget about the world. I'm on my beach. I'm on my beach. Kylie's rules for Stormy. 
Once Kylie's nannies make it through the vetting process, they're filled in on all of the mom of two's rules for her toddler and newborn. Sure, Stormy lives a life of insane wealth, privilege, and fame, but this kid still has some rules she has to follow. When Stormy was first born, Kylie was super protective of her daughter's safety and health. She made everyone sanitize their hands, and family members were only allowed to visit Stormy inside the house. The baby wasn't allowed out for weeks. Even before a pandemic was a commonly used word, Kylie had everyone who entered her house wear surgical masks while being around Stormy. More recently, Stormy has even more rules. For starters, the toddler is restricted from watching the family's reality show, Keeping Up With The Kardashians, until she's much older. Travis Scott agrees, and the rapper stated, "'Today, kids are on iPads. There's so much technology, they don't play outside anymore. With Stormy, no TV. That TV stuff is out.'" Besides that, Kylie continues to monitor and approve any pictures of Stormy that are released to the public and is still a bit of a germ freak about her house being clean and safe for the kids. After giving birth to Stormy, Kylie was so strict about keeping the house clean and germ-free that she restricted gifts from her family to flowers only. That resulted in rooms full of gorgeous bouquets. Will the star keep the same rule for baby number two? Who's the cutest baby? Me, me. Wolf Webster rules. Now that Kylie and Travis have welcomed their second child, will little Wolf Webster have to follow all the same rules as his big sister? As we've seen with the other Car Jenner siblings, rules can change as their households, businesses, and lifestyles continue to expand. Fans are wondering if Kylie will be taking some time off from her business endeavors to care for Wolf, or if her team of nannies will be immediately on the job to help out with the growing family. That could mean that a new nanny position will be opening up. Do you have what it takes to nanny for Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott? Oh my goodness, you and Mark from sleeping, you were sleeping good. Kylie's nanny rules versus her sisters. Kylie's household runs pretty similar to her sister Kim's. Kim Kardashian has nothing against hiring help and also relies on regular, around the clock childcare for her four kids. Unlike Kylie, who usually has one nanny working at a time, Kim actually has four nannies steadily on the go. One for each kid. So much for being outnumbered. The KKW Beauty creator makes sure that each kid has eyes on them at all times. Courtney also has a team of nannies, with at least one assigned to each child. A big difference between Courtney and her sisters, however, is that for all three of her kids, she decided not to have a nanny's help for the first few months after each baby was born, getting that exclusive mother-baby time in early. Kylie might not follow all the same rules that her sisters do with their kids and nannies, but these siblings still have each other's backs when it comes to raising their kids. That's how it is with so many little ones around. As Aunt Kendall Jenner rightfully put it, every time I think it's eased up, someone's popping out a baby. Kris Jenner, who's known to her 11 grandkids as Lovey, is also known to swoop in as super grandma and help out when needed. With so many kids and so many grandkids, it's a lot. Kylie's parenting style. Since she kept her first pregnancy private from the public until the birth, some fans think that Kylie brought down an even heavier hammer of fame on her firstborn. Your pregnancy has been the best kept secret of our generation. By keeping Stormy a secret for so long, Kylie only intensified the public's interest in photos and info on Stormy's life. Now, Kylie is doing her best to teach Stormy about fame and how to stay humble in the public eye. She told Harper's Bazaar, I'm just trying my best, even though she's still little, to remind her how blessed we are and that this isn't normal, the way we live. Kylie also later defended her decision to keep the pregnancy under wraps, explaining that since she shares a lot of her life on TV and social media, it's important to keep some things private for her own well-being and mental health. Like, I'm not trying to keep a secret, I'm really doing this for myself." On the subject of fame, Kylie added that she doesn't teach Stormy to hide from the cameras, but instead to embrace her platform while guarding her privacy when need be. Get the camera on. Okay, I'm looking at the camera. She said, It's just our life. People want to take pictures. And as for having kids young, to each their own. Kris Jenner defended Kylie's choice to have kids at such a young age, saying, I think she was just born to have kids. I felt like I was the same way. I wanted to have a baby when I was 16 years old. I thought about how many kids I would have. So I think that some people are just, when you know, you know. Kylie may have been a young first-time mom, but this time around, she's got the experience, not to mention plenty of help from her family and her army of nannies and assistants. 
Kylie Jenner may only be in her mid-twenties, but she's already way ahead on the parenting game. But being a boss at everything doesn't mean you don't need a little help from time to time. This busy mom of two has plenty of support from her family and her hired staff to help her out as she navigates parenthood, raising Stormy Webster and the family's new addition. What do you think about Kylie's choice to have multiple nannies and childcare assistants for her two kids? Let us know what you think in the comments, and subscribe to The Thing Celebrity for more stories about your favorite celeb families.